Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sean's Stuff. I am Sean. How is everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. And um, tonight I am coming to you with a uh, recent COMC or CheckOutMyCards.com um, rummage. Uh, these were all part of one order I placed uh, a week or two ago. Um, and uh, I, I did show one card already last night, uh, the Walt Kachuk that I ordered from the... Um, 71 72 top set but um i just wanted to um show you the rest of what i ordered and um i want to start real quick with a couple of the outliers on the order and this was one i picked up um it is from battlestar galactica and it is from the season four set and this is a subset called the significant Se seven now, i am a big big fan of battlestar galactica in all its incarnations and uh you know, that's an entire episode in and of, in and of itself. But um, I did want to pick up this card in particular because of the recent passing of the actor Dean Stockwell, who was um, not only a, an incredible actor on Battlestar Galactica, but um, was also in a couple memorable David Lynch movies, Dune and Blue Velvet. Um, you know, the, the one thing I remember him from is um, he played Admiral Al Cal Calavici, on Quantum Leap, um, Sam's hologram assistant, and uh, you know if you've if you've watched TV or a movie since uh, about 1948, chances are you've seen something with Dean Stockwell. He he started off as a child in 1948. His first film was um, called The Boy with Green Hair. I've never seen it myself, but um, you know I'm a little bit more motivated to check that out now, and you know. Up until his passing, he worked steadily in Hollywood for, you know, his entire life. And I I think um, that probably says a lot about his character, where I don't think you can last long in a town like Hollywood if you're not a half-decent person. But um, anyway, uh, rest in peace, Mr. Stockwell. We will certainly miss your memorable performances. So a nice little memory in cardboard form. And... Uh, Changing gears completely is the 2020 Panini Prism set. This is called the uh, Laser Prism subset of Rob Gronkowski. And um, I am a New England fan. Um, I am an on and off again Tampa fan. It's a long story, but it was before Tom Brady took over as quarterback. I'll tell you that. Anyhow, um, you know. I have a very small Gronk PC, and uh, I didn't have any cards of him with uh, the Bucks yet, and this one w was real cool looking, and, you know, I couldn't pass it up for their, uh, you know, when I saw it, so I decided to add that one to the PC because, uh, you know, Gronk is just such a lovable lunkhead to me, you know, he's just, um, he's just a big goofy guy who loves to play football, and, and uh, he, me personally, I can't help but root for him, but... Uh, at any rate, uh, you know, there's another Gronk for the PC. So here's um, the main body of the order. And uh, so it's going to be a couple of non-sports first and a uh, hockey. So um, any hockey fans go want to use the restroom or anything while I uh, go through the non-sports cards, i uh, probably give me about a minute and a half. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what I bought. It is from the 2011 Topps. Um, apple pie set and it is the card is called mtv means music all day and the reason i bought it is because it is one of the only official or major trading cards that features frank zappa who is one of my all-time favorite musicians uh frank was definitely not for everybody um but if you you know if you have the the ear for some weirdness, but, uh, you know, just great, great music. I mean, he was truly a genius. I encourage you to ch check out Frank Zappa. And, you know, if there are any Frank Zappa fans watching this, please feel free to contact me. I would love to discuss Zappa. So at any rate, um, MTV means music all day. And um, it has Frank here. And on his left is the original one of the original MTV VJs, Nina Blackwood. Funny thing was, is um, neither of these two people is named on this card anywhere. The back just features some 
some text about the the beginnings, the origins of MTV and its first broadcast. And in no way um, do they mention Ms. Blackwood or Mr. Zappa. And, um, you know, later on, Frank really came to um, hate MTV because of its effect on the music industry as a whole. But again, uh, you, you know, if, if he seems like your type of guy, I highly recommend you check out Frank Zappa. So put him here. Next is a card that I discovered because of my friend uh, Shane over at Shoebox Legends. I had no idea about these Star Wars uh, 3D cards, and I know Shane's going for a complete set. Um, I, however, I just chose Kylo Ren. Unfortunately, the the 3D effect really doesn't come through the camera, but I mean, in in hand, this card is incredible. And, um, you know, Kylo Ren is absolutely one of my favorite characters in the um, Star Wars saga, especially in the new movies. And, um, you know, this was just a really cool card. I like how the border is um, based from the 1980 Empire Strikes Back set and at the back as well. And um, yeah, I, this one was a no-brainer for me, so. All right, non-sports talk is over, so let's get to the hockey. The part everybody, I hope, has been waiting for. So, um, try to go through these, not a lot of explanation involved, but, uh, you know, Austin Matthews is one of those players who's, uh, you know, top-tier talent, incredible in the league, but uh, I, up until this point, I only had one Austin Matthews card, and that was his, this year's base card from Ever Deck, so... You know, as a, as a fan of the NHL, I needed to get some representation of this kid in my collection. So, I bought the um, his Synergy Roaring Twenties insert, which is a set I've discussed a little bit before. Um, you know, I just really love the way this set looks. It focuses on players who were in their twenties, but they kind of use like a a twenties style theme, which I really dig. So, that one was added to the collection, and then. Uh, from this year's Allure set is the Iced Out insert, which I just think looks really cool. Um, you know, really cr cool chrome shattered ice effect there. Um, you know, there are different levels, different parallels to this, but this is just, you know, the, the base insert, if you can believe such a thing. And so, you know, that was definitely in my price range at uh, under 75 cents, I think. This next one I, I really like because, um, you know, this is an Elias Lindholm. It is from last year's um, Panini uh, Platinum, or excuse me, OPG Platinum set. My goodness, I'm sorry. And it is Elias Lindholm. And, uh, you know, I am I am trying to get into collecting other players on the Flames, you know, because they are my favorite team. But, you know, they're more than just Kachucks on that squad. So, but, uh, you know, this one was really cool. This is the Sunset Parallel. And uh, I really like to think uh, it's, you know, it would be a perfect picture for a dating profile, you know, where it's like, Hi, my name is Elias. I enjoy sunsets, long walks on the beach, and hat tricks. Uh, next up is, uh, you know, this year's 2020-21 um, Blake Coleman Series 1. This is the Upper Deck exclusive. Um, he was like a real, a, a real um, important piece of the, well, maybe not that important, but anyway, uh, you know, he definitely contributed to, um, the last Tampa Bay Stanley Cup win, and he signed with Calgary as a free agent, and, you know, saw his exclusive from this year on the site for, um, uh, under two dollars, so, you know, that was, you know, I just, I like how, I like how he plays, I like his style, so, you know, why not, why not pick it up, and, um, there's another Flames player, but I already have started collecting him, but that's Johnny Goudreau, and um, this is the OPG Retro Parallel from, excuse me. Uh, oh, sorry, Dead Air is terrible. 2015-2016. Uh, Pardon me, my bad. Um, I love these OPG Retro Parallels, especially, you know, where they, the funky, crazy designs on most of them definitely throwback. And, um, you know, the fact that they're on cardboard stock, you know, really means a lot. So... That's something that, uh, you know, I definitely look for. I will collect uh, OPG uh, retro cards all day, all day. I love those. Uh, now is the Kachuk portion of the program. And, um, you know, this was what I consider the score of the 
the package here, uh, you know, personally, your results might vary, but this is the 2018-19 Matthew Kachuk Upper Deck exclusive, um, you know, serial number to 100, and this one is number 25, and the fact that uh, 25 is divisible into 100 makes my brain happy in a way I can't quite explain, but uh, that is one I really, really was happy to get, and uh, I, that was maybe three bucks and change yeah three bucks and change so you know for that price again and um this is from this year's upper deck canvas set uh, i got the matthew kachuk didn't have that one yet and i got the checklist featuring little brother brady the weird thing was is that i was going to buy the brady canvas on uh check out my cars as well but every copy and you know i didn't scroll through every page because there are literally thousands but every copy seemed to be stored remotely and would take extra a couple extra weeks to get to me and you know this is for like a 60 75 cent card and so it was just weird i don't know if it's a glitch or anything i, I haven't checked back on it yet this is a few weeks ago but just something really odd um and you know i did get something brady and that is this year's allure and this is the Red Rainbow Relic Parallel and, uh, you know, pocket change for this, like Shane said before, uh, you know, 250 which, you know, for my to Chuck P, my Chuck PC is, uh, you know, music to my ears. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. And uh, I know I mentioned Shoebox Legends. A big influence on this channel, but uh, I cannot have a rummage cannot have a rummage without mentioning um, Diego, my pal over at Sports Cards D Tour. Uh, I will put the link in, and um, if you haven't checked out his his videos, are all great, but his rummage videos are epic. I just love love watching people just go through stacks of cards and and uh, you know say, "Oh, this is why I got this one. This is why I got that one." But uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it wasn't um, too ponderous or anything. And um, maybe you saw something you liked. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, what your favorite card of the bunch was or, um, you know, if you have any uh, anything else you want to add. All right. Have a great night, everybody.